What is up boys and girls and welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be creating some sweet chain links, procedural chain links actually, in Cinema 4D. It's going to be a lot of fun and I'm just going to quickly lead you through it. It's really quick and easy and really procedural so you can change a lot of things uh, on the fly. And yeah, but before we actually dive in, um, I just quickly want to give a shout out to my Patreons and thank them for their ongoing support. Um, thank you so much, guys. If you're seeing this video, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'll put their names on the screen. And also in last week's video, uh, last week's video just, it did really, 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 really good. Thank you all for, for, for the support. And also I did so many mistakes in that video, like one cut was just really off in the middle of the video somewhere. I actually commented in the description uh, about the, the, um, the mistake there and also in the beginning when i listed all the patrons and their donation amount i messed up the currencies i put them all in dollars but some are in dollars and some are in euros so i'm sorry about that it's just a small mistake i don't really think anybody will care but i really care um and i just wanted to say i just want to get that out there and know that i did a mistake <sighs> i don't think a lot of people will care Nobody will care. <laughs> Anyways, just let's just start. Let's just let's just stop crying. Okay, so here we are in Cinema 4D, and let's just start by creating our link in the chain. So how we do that is we get a spline, not a spline. We get a sweep. I, I keep I keep changing those up. Um, we're gonna be using this quick menu uh, with Shift C, where I can just type in things and I can drag them in. And uh, just double click them, for example. And yeah, I'll be using that so I don't have to navigate it all the way around here. So Shift C and get a sweep. And after you get the sweep, you want to get a rectangle and a circle. With both of these, we want to drag them into the sweep. And when you get something that looks like this, you did it correctly. But if these are in the wrong order, you get something like this, which is not what we want. So be sure to put the circle before the rectangle so you don't mess up your chain. So on the circle, I want to turn down my radius and I want to also come to my rectangle, come over to my rectangle and change the width um, down to something like 250 or something in that direction. So. After that, we want to enable rounding and drag the radius up to as high as we can. So it really depends on how wide the object is. So yeah, just drag this, drag this as high as you can. And we now have this link, which is in a little bit thick here. Let's just turn that down. And also let's make it a little bit thinner. There we go. That is a good link. Looks pretty cool. So let's continue by um, getting this thing onto a spline. So we have to go through some extra steps, but that is just going to be really quick. So after we get, have our sweep here, I'm just going to contract this, collapse this, and um, get myself a cloner. So cloner. Boom. And put my sweep into the cloner. Now on the cloner, I want to change my mode to object. And I also want to get a, um, what's it called? Matrix. So I want to get a matrix. And on my cloner, I want to make the matrix this, this object right here. And on this matrix now, we want to put the mode here again. We want to put this to linear. And now we have this. Um, actually, before you put the matrix into the cloner's object right here, be sure to put it to linear because when you're rendering something and you already have a lot in your scene, it can really, really, really slow down your render or even crash. And if you don't save, that could lead to yeah some bad things because you would have to redo the scene, which is not good. That happens so often to me. <laughs> always save, guys. Always save. Um, so... Now with both of these, I want to get a spline wrap. That is just, again, control C and spline wrap. Boom. 
at the spine wrap and put the spine wrap into the matrix. Um, now we see nothing, um, but we will see something again after we go to our pen and just draw a quick spine. I messed up the point there. So be sure to have some smooth, to make a smooth spline. Because on the on, on sharp edges on a spline like this, the chains are just going to mess up and they, they won't be able to wrap around the spline um, perfectly. So they, they, will, they will end up being messed up. So like this, with our spline created now, we want to come up to object mode here again, auto mode. And on the spline wrap, click on this and we want to drag in our spline on this spline right here. After we've done that, we want to change the axes of our spline wrap to plus y. Come to our matrix and put our h rotation to 90. Now we're getting somewhere, um, something like something that looks like a chain. So how we can make this look more like a chain? Um, it's pretty simple. We just got to scale down our sweep. So click on the sweep, press T. I'll scale down my sweep to something like this. And I want to come to my matrix and turn up the count. As you can see, we have a chain. Um, now this is I actually did a perfect. So um, now we have a chain here, which we can change almost every aspect about. Not even a sentence. Doesn't matter. Um, on the sweep here, which is our link, we can come to the circle, for example, and change the thickness. So we can basically, this looks like a knot. Oh, multi-use. You can see, yeah, th there's some really cool things you can do with this. This actually looks like a, like a knot. That just, that surprised me. Um, and, and yeah. So with this change, we can do. This doesn't look like a knot. This looks. This looks like. I can't. I can't find the word for it right now. It's like a, a string. These like these like ropes you're tied to when you go climbing or something. You guys know what I mean, probably. Anyways, I just I keep getting caught off guard. <laughs> um. So with these change created, chains created now, we can, um, get objects or something and wrap these chains around so for example we could get a cube and come to our spline go to the pen tool and click on the spline here cool. and click on my spline here and i can't really see the points of the spline right now so what we can do is we can come to the matrix basic and enable x-ray also on the cloner enable x-ray and on the sweep enable x-ray as well so now i can see through here and i can kind of see through there wait where did i okay no i turned them all on this gives you a better view of the spline here um yeah it's just better to see so on here on the spline on the point here we can now for example drag this down as you can see it's perfectly following the spline and wrapping it's, it's adjusting to the spline, which is really cool. So on the spline here, uh, not on the spline, but the spline, I can move the spline here. And as you can see, I could start wrapping um, the spline around my cube. And when you accidentally mess up a spline and you get a sharp corner like this and you lose the point for some reason, I just broke it, uh, for example, right here. So if you wanna go through and uh, uh, if you, I, oh my, I can't speak today. If you don't want to go through all the pain and moving it like this to get it perfect, what you can do sometimes, it, this really helps. Um, you can right click the spline and go to soften edge, which just makes the edge soft. Um, yes, best explanation. But as you can see, this just really, this just forms a natural, Natural chain path that'll, that'll look really cool. So, there we go. 
Uh, what we could do now is on the in the, on my two, I think that yeah, the two last posts on my Instagram, I actually had this skull from Bill Ellis. I will leave a link down in the description to his website. It's really, really, really cool. You you can get some really amazing stuff, some really cool 3D scanned um, skull models. Uh, I'll just quickly import one. So here we have one of his skulls. Um, that voice crack. So here we have one of his skulls, and this looks really, really, really good. They're really high quality, and they just, they just, you can just really create some cool, cool scenes with this. Like you can see on my Instagram. Just, by the way, Instagram's in the description below. Go follow me. Um, and yeah, I'll just, I'm just gonna uh, scale down my sweep here a bit more. And turn up the count of our, of my matrix. Yeah. So, we're actually updating the. Room. There we go. And I'll just slap a metal material on the skull and on the cloner, so we have it on both of these. Like you can do some really cool things. Like as you can see, this already looks so cool. And it's just these two simple things here. I'm just gonna we slap a scene together with these chains. Just a path tracing. Turn down the power of my light a bit. As you can see, this is looking look really, really, really cool. Um, some chains. It's just really simple, really easy to do. They're a lot of fun to play with. So, go ahead, recreate these chains. Maybe tag me on Instagram where you um, used this method to create chains and yeah i will see you in the next one stay creative